Hello everyone. Hi, oh, it's Sunday again. Um, today I'm going to talk about the last little story on Australia when I was there. One of the jobs I did, I worked. Uh, it sounded not such a dangerous job, but it turned out to be quite dangerous. Um, to other teams, the teams that I was not in, many of the men were killed. Um, the job was working for the water company. They were laying new pipes, new mains pipes, and we'd have a, a tractor that would dig the trench, and then there would be rocks which would have to be um, drilled. I used to use a pneumatic drill and drill a hole into the rocks various places. And then the powder monkey, he was an Italian, nice chap, um, he would put the dynamite into the holes and set it up and then steel plates would be placed over the trench and then the charge would be fired. <clears throat> Many times not all the charges would go. Some hadn't gone off and that's what happened in other teams. Um, they would go in to clear the rubble and with their shovels they'd hit a dynamite or a, a detonator. But our powder monkey was very good, very good. Many times um, the charge would be fired and the tractor driver would come in and take the steel plate off the, off the trench and the powder monkey would stop us. Nope, hold it, hold it, hold it. He would go. One of the charges hadn't gone off. There may be 10, 15 charges, but one, he knew, one hadn't gone off. And it was always right. One or two. So that was that. That was a good job. It was, it was quite, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I remember we was out in the, in the country and there was an old house set way back. Couldn't see much. But there were there were photographers there and girls with hardly anything on, some didn't have anything on, um, they were taking photographs for a magazine. We all strained, but we couldn't see nothing. We were too far away, but we were hanging on the fence. I don't know why, but it, it, everyone did it. We all did it. Uh, one of the other jobs I had was um, I worked at Perth Zoo. Um, I think I said before I used to cut the grass for the elephants, and where I used to go, you had to go in. It used to start at seven o'clock in the morning. And it's strange that here I am in Perth and you walk into the zoo at seven o'clock in the morning and you hear all these animals, the, you know, from Africa or Asia or wherever, the roaring of the lions and the monkeys are chattering away and all the other animals making noises, hyenas and stuff. It, it's weird. I used to walk in and go past the lion cages, there was lions, tigers and a, and a, I think there was a cheetah there, there was a leopard as well. Um, the lion was a young male, he was hand reared and he was put in a cage for his own safety. Um, they couldn't have him roaming around the zoo like they did he, when he was younger, he was getting quite big. Uh, but it was very friendly. Um, 
I used to step over the safety barrier and give him a stroke and scratch. He'd purr like a cat. Uh, the other job I had there was on the weekends and in school holidays I would have to ride on the back of the little stupid little train thing that used to go around in a circle um, with a whistle. <laughs> I had to blow the whistle and chill. Sit down, sit down, sit down. And stand up. Um, most exciting. Uh, and one other job I had um, I worked at a slaughterhouse. Um, I worked in the skin shed hanging up the sheepskins and uh, they'd be hung for about 10 days and then they'd have to be taken down and put into a truck and sent out to the tanners. I'm going to have an Altoid because I've got a bit of a sore throat here. Um, and that was, that was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, how can I explain it? You had sticks, I say sticks, they were pieces of wood, about an inch square. About 12, 15 foot long. And they'd put them on top of a cross to support for the building and uh, it would make a floor, you'd have so many to make a floor and you could walk on it. And you take one, you put it up and you put the sheepskin over the top of it and you work your way down and it's quite high, you're about 20 foot high and uh, uh, these sticks because they're covered in sheep skin and lanolin, they're very slippery. And when you step over the support for the shed, you step over the barrier onto the next floor, but it, they would slip. So let it be careful. And there was a new chap, he started there and he was, he was quite tall, he was about six foot skinny and he stepped over and it slipped and he went down right the way down to the bottom um, but he didn't hit the floor he hit a, another stick that was just off the floor about waist time and but he went down and the stick as his legs And of course, it won't break. It's so covered in lanolin and, and grease, it just bounced. And while well, we was up top there, we just couldn't stop laughing. He was all right, but he spoke in a very high-pitched voice the rest of the day. But he was... <laughs> then another time, he, we was at the top again. And you get the grinned chins sheepskins and you throw them down to the truck so they'll spin where the legs were it's like a straight edge and you make them spin so it hits the edge of the truck but you only pick up a few he picked up quite a lot and went to throw it because he didn't let go and he went with it and he went down the 20 foot and landed on the back of the truck and the supervisor, good idea, I think his name was Tom, good idea Tom, you up the driver, and that was it, but it was a good job. I know a lot of people talk about slaughterhouses and the cruelty, but I can assure you that the slaughterhouse I worked in, there was none of that. We had meat inspectors. Um, any cruelty to animals would show up in the meat. And that whole batch of meat, the, the, the carcasses that came from that particular farm would be uh, destroyed. They wouldn't have it. 
it's not good enough. So it was no cruelty. There were two young lads, they got fired because they were cruel to some of the lambs. Um, so that's it for this week. Uh, next week I shall think of a different subject to talk on. Um, perhaps some of you could give me an idea <laughs> what you would like to hear, even if it's something I've already talked about a bit more in depth, maybe. Um, and I, every job, every job that I've done, I've tried to find the fun because without the fun it's not worth doing to be honest if you're not happy in a job it's not worth doing um, and I think I think I did okay everywhere I've been I've been uh, people have appreciated what I've done in England many times the owners of the companies I work for would give me extra cash uh, saying thank you for doing what I did I just did my job but that was that um, <coughs> I don't know what to talk about next week really <coughs> but I should think of something and it'll be fun I'll try and make it fun and that is what I'm thinking now <laughs> um, I should probably I can't talk about current jobs um, I don't really want to so I should leave that and I'll just go back into memories uh, and I like it that my front room group is working as well as it is. I know um, we've had problems with a couple of people and they've left, one I've removed, but that's the way it is, it's the way it is. It's, it, and I'm not changing, I'm not changing the group to satisfy one or two people. So, there we are. That is my video for today, Sunday, March. And we've still got snow. And we've got more snow coming tomorrow. With the blizzard. Thank you.